So I just plugged in this beautiful, shiny foundation series dual motor Cybertruck. I'm gonna charge it up to 100%, hop out onto the highway, drive at a constant 70 miles an hour to see just how far this guy goes in the inside EV's 70 mile an hour highway range test. All right, so I'm in the Cybertruck now. We are at 99% charge, so I'm gonna be unplugging really soon. As Soon as we hit 100%, I'm gonna head out onto the highway and drive in long loops. We always do that with the Inside EV's highway range tests, and I always try to finish up relatively close to where I started, and that's to negate any uh, elevation change, although the course that I take on the New Jersey Turnpike is relatively flat, so we don't really get too much elevation change. We're also doing that in case there's a strong wind in one direction, so it'll kind of offset that and make the range test as fair as possible. We also do a few things to make sure that all of the tests are consistent and fair to each vehicle. First off, we always put the vehicle in the most efficient driving mode. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, no driving dynamics. So if you notice, there's a comfort, a sport, and a custom mode for the uh, Cybertruck. I had been driving in sport mode, but I've been playing with this now. When you put it in comfort mode, it goes into chill acceleration. That's what we want, the chill mode. But then I notice it says the preferred ride height is higher in comfort mode. So I set the custom mode to be in chill uh, but also the preferred right to be low, hide right to be lower because I'd prefer if the vehicle was lower to the ground, better aerodynamics, it'll perform a little bit better. Uh, we also reset the trip, so I don't forget that. I'm going to reset trip A now. Um, now, the trip meter from since last charge would probably work for this, but I don't want to take any chances. I want a, a second opinion on that. And I also make sure that the tires are set to the manufacturer's specification. As you could see, um, right now, they're not. I set them to 50 PSI this morning when it was cold. And I have a very accurate tire pressure gauge. And when I was driving over here, they were all either at 50 or 51 PSI. The Cybertruck's tires, these monster Goodyear 35 inch tires, the recommended PSI is 50 PSI. But as I've been sitting here in the shade for a little bit, uh, it's cooled down. And now I have two of the tires at 49 PSI, one at 50 and one says 48. I'm sure it's going to get up over 50 once I start the range test, but I always want to be as fully disclosed as possible when I do these range tests. I'm just angry that it's showing this reading. I think it's an inaccurate reading because I have a very accurate uh, tire pressure monitoring gauge and I actually fill them to 50 and a half pounds just to be safe. I'm not sure how accurate tire uh, the, the tire pressure indicators or the sensors are in the Cybertruck's tires, but I'm pretty sure we're right at 50. In any event, it's 55 degrees now when we start this range test. There's not a lot of wind. Uh, it should be a really good day for range testing. Uh, it's ideally would like to be a little bit warmer in the 60s, but 55 degrees is pretty good. Uh, so I, I think we're going to get a real accurate uh, depiction of how far the Cybertruck can go at 70 miles an hour in this uh, mild temperatures. I, ideally, you'd like to be in the 70s, but uh, I've noticed with my range tests, the range really doesn't get affected too much till it gets down in the 40s. Uh, that's when it really starts biting into it. So we might lose a few miles here because it's at 55 degrees, but not much. Uh, it's pretty much negligible. And I did precondition the battery for DC fast charging on the way here and have been DC fast charging for almost an hour now. So the battery should be nice and toasty warm, which is what you want for good performance. So um, I'm still at 99%. As soon as that thing ticks over to 100%, I'm going to hop out onto the highway and we'll join you when I'm on the highway driving at 70 miles an hour. All right, so I'm out on the New Jersey Turnpike cruising along in the Cybertruck at 70 miles an hour. And boy, does this thing get attention. I thought I got a lot of attention when I did my range test with the Hummer EV. That's nothing compared to this. I think as much as 50% of the cars I'm driving by are slowing down, looking, taking pictures. I had a trucker blow his horn and wave and give me thumbs up. So it's pretty crazy. Um, uh, initial impressions is it's, it's, it's louder than I would like it to be at highway speeds. That could partially be because of these monster 285, 65, R20 tires, the Goodyear all-terrain tires, which come standard right now on the Foundation Series all-wheel drive or dual motor Cybertrucks. Tesla is going to offer an all-season tire in the future. 
And that version of the Cybertruck, Tesla's expecting will be rated at uh, 340 miles EPA. This version with these monster tires, same truck otherwise, is uh, Tesla's estimating 318 miles of combined EPA range rating. But we're doing a highway range test here and the highway figures rarely meet the combined EPA range test. So I'm not expecting to get 318 miles. I hope to get close to 300, but we'll see. The weather conditions are perfect right now. We're up to 61 degrees now. Very little winds, about like a four mile an hour crosswind. Um, but temperature is great. I have to use very little climate control, which I've set to 68 degrees and on the lowest fan setting. I always do that when I'm doing these range tests, lowest fan setting and somewhere between 68 and 70 degrees, whatever makes me comfortable. Um, I need 68 here today because of this giant glass sunroof. It's really sunny out today. And even though it's only 60 degrees, it's warm in here because the sun's uh, baking in. Uh, so uh, yeah, cruising down the New Jersey Turnpike at 70 miles an hour. And uh, <laughs> I have all to do to not have somebody driving next to me, like swerve into me and hit me as they're looking at it. So this thing gets a lot of looks. I'll tell you that for sure. Um, okay, talking about the battery, it has a 123 kilowatt hour battery pack. So if I were to average two miles per kilowatt hour, which is kind of what many of the uh, electric pickup trucks on the market do today, you know, we'd be looking at somewhere around 250 miles of range, I think the Cybertruck's going to be a little bit more efficient than that. I don't have the aero covers on these wheels. The person that I rented this from, I rented this on Toro, uh, di didn't have those uh, aero covers. So that might rob a couple miles of range. But uh, the weather conditions are so perfect here today that I think we're going to really have a good showing. I'm going to check in when we're at 75% uh, state of charge and we're 25% uh, through the range test and we'll see where we're at. Okay, at the first check-in, we're at 75% state of charge, and we've gone 77 miles. Wow, we are tracking more than 300. I am surprised. I thought we were gonna end up at around 65, but it just kept going and going. Uh, we have used, uh, our consumption rate is 399 watt hour per mile. When you translate that to miles per kilowatt hour, it's 2.51 which is fantastic. If we could finish up with two and a half miles per kilowatt hour, I will be impressed. But that's just a quarter of the way. And we've seen this on the range test. Sometimes it changes on the quarters. And I think during this leg of the trip, the wind has been in our favor. It is a crosswind, but I think it's coming from the side and kind of pushing us. So we're gonna have to see in the next couple of legs, once I turn around and head back, it, that wind might be uh, working against us. But for now, we are rocking. 77 miles on only 25% state of charge. Uh, the vehicles tell me we use 31 kilowatt hour of energy, which that the math adds, you multiply that times four, it's 124, and the Cybertruck has 123 usable, supposedly, so we're, uh, we're tracking well, but uh, I tell you, that's amazing. And there's another thing that I wanna mention, and let me get over because I'm holding up traffic. Okay, I mentioned earlier when I was charging about the tire pressure, that it wasn't all at 50 as I had set it at. As soon as I started driving and got on the highway, I checked and it was all at 50 PSI. So we're all good with the tire pressure. I think maybe just because it was parked, the vehicle wasn't reading it properly, but uh, we're at the proper tire pressure. I am impressed so far, but we've got a long way to go. We'll uh, check in at 50% state of charge. All right, we're at the halfway point. We didn't go quite as far in that leg. We only went 74 miles, three miles less. So we're at 151 miles now, and our consumption rate is 403 watt hour per mile. That translates to 2.48 mile per kilowatt hour. And I have to get over because somebody's going really slow. And I am like down to 65 miles an hour for the last 10 seconds, which won't affect the range test. Let me get over to the fast lane. I can get back up and get around this slow poke. So, um, yeah, so uh, 2.48 miles per kilowatt hour, and uh, we have used 61 kilowatt hour uh, of, of electricity. So 
uh, we used 31 kilowatt hour in that first quarter and then 30 kilowatt hour in this. So we're still tracking right around the total capacity. Uh, this is a new Cybertruck. We should have the full 123 kilowatt hour of, of uh, total capacity. It only had 2,100 miles when I picked it up. I, I rented it. So uh, we should have full battery capacity. I'm not going to run it until it stops. I don't have any backup means of charging me today and uh, it is a rented vehicle and I think that's a little abusive when you just run it till it dies. So I'm going to drive it to zero and then squeeze out a few more miles, see when the, uh, the throttle re response starts getting swishy, if I can't maintain speed and we'll call it quits at that. But for now, halfway we breached 150 miles so we're still tracking better than 300 miles in this range test. We'll check back in uh, when we're at 25% state of charge. Checking back in at 25% state of charge, we have driven 223 miles. So in the 50% to 25% leg, we went the shortest distance, 72 miles. So, so far it's 77 miles, 74 miles, now 72 miles. Our consumption rate now is averaging 406 watt hour per mile, which is 2.46 miles per kilowatt hour. And we have consumed, according to the vehicle, 90 kilowatt hour. So we used 31 kilowatt hour in the first leg, 30 in the second, and now 29. So uh, the vehicle is, is showing the state of charge. It could be slightly off or the battery might not have the full 123 kilowatt hour uh, available. We'll take a look when we get to the end and uh, I'm going to push it as much as I can safely without running out. I'm going to go beyond zero uh, state of charge and uh, we'll see how many kilowatt hour the uh, vehicle has in it. Uh, unlike my uh, friend and uh, podcast mate Kyle Connor, I'm not going to run this till it dies. It's not my truck and uh, I don't have backup here today. Although I could have had one of my friends drive my Lightning uh, behind me. but. Uh, it just wasn't uh, available today. I didn't have somebody to do that. I thought about doing it. Okay, so 223 miles after 75% uh, of the battery is pretty good. We're still tracking for really close to 300 miles. I hope we get it, uh, but we get what we get, and uh, I don't really root for the cars when I do these range tests. I just basically try to put it out there and be as uh, honest with the range test as possible, as fair as I can to the vehicle and to the other vehicles that we're comparing it to. We did the Lightning range test and the Rivian R1T range test. The Lightning, I think I finished up with 270 and the R1T only 254, but the weather conditions were different for that. It was drizzling and it was cold. It was like in the low 40s. We're up to, uh, I saw a high of 66 degrees today. So today's great range weather. Um, 300 miles is within reach. We'll check back in when the test is just about over. Uh, and the only other thing I want to add is, I mentioned this earlier, it's crazy how many people are swerving to take pictures of me in this. It's, it's dangerous. It's at least 50 people I've seen taking pictures. Here's a car, let's see if they are. No, they're just looking though. Um, they didn't take pictures, but they did uh, rubberneck. But there's cars like swerving as they lean over with their camera to try to take pictures of me. I'm sure that's going to go away after this has been out for a while. But for now, there's really very few of these in New Jersey. I'm sure for most of the people, it's the first one they've seen. And it's a sight. Whether it's a great pickup truck, that's a discussion for another day. But it is something to look at. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And people are looking at it for sure. Um, Okay, we'll check back in when we're close to the end and see where we're at. Okay, we've got four miles to go and the estimated remaining range just hit zero. The car's telling me I'm not going to make it to the charging station, but I think we're going to. I know there's a little lower end buffer, uh, but for now <laughs> we're driving. It says zero miles remaining. I could click over to percentage, zero percent. We are driving on electrons. So hopefully we'll make it. We're down to 2.5 miles now. I'm going to get over to the slow lane. I had to pass someone before because they were going like 60. So this supercharger is right off the turnpike. So we're going to go from going 70 miles an hour right into the parking lot. There's no chance for me to drive around at the end and burn the battery down. I timed it so we would be pretty much hitting zero when I pulled off the highway. So we are beyond zero. We're going to be about three miles further 
then the state of charge reading zero and the remaining range saying zero. We're still uh, pulling 70 miles an hour. So the driver truck hasn't gone into a reduced power mode yet. I know there's a lower end buffer. My friend Kyle Connor from out of spec did some cyber truck testing. I think he went like six or seven miles, maybe even eight miles beyond uh, zero. So I know there's a buffer in there and I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay. I'm really not nervous. Uh, we're down to uh, 1.2 miles now, so still holding 70 miles an hour, and uh, it's not a problem for the Cybertruck. So yeah, we're going to finish up, it looks like, with, uh, geez, we have 301 miles now. So I guess 302 miles driven is what we're going to finish up with. It looks like we have used 120 kilowatt hour. Now, like I said, we the Tesla... Uh, states well actually Tesla doesn't state it the EPA documents revealed that it has 123 kilowatt hour battery pack so I might have two and a half or up to three kilowatt hour of remaining battery to drive it's just that I can't keep driving if I pass this supercharger here I'm running out on the New Jersey Turnpike and I did that already once with the Chevy Bolt EV not doing it again so um, yeah okay here's the Walt Whitman service area that's where the superchargers are I'm gonna put my blinker on which I've gotten used to totally there's no blinker stalks and uh, let me turn off the uh, cruise control and that's another thing that I don't like it, it does have the uh, smart cruise control but there's no autopilot it's not steering for me um, so that really kind of sucks with the cyber truck you buy a hundred thousand dollar truck and it doesn't have autopilot at launch I know they're gonna get it but um, I tell you, four and a half hours of driving this and not having to be able to relax at all with um, having the vehicle steer for you like I'm used to with my Ford F-150 Lightning and all the Teslas that I've owned and driven. Okay, so here we are at the Supercharger. There's only one vehicle here. I guess I'll take the first stall. Let me back in. There's a Toyota coming over here. And also there's no uh, stock gear selector, so you have to swipe this up and down, which I've gotten used to really quickly. Actually, I'm in the wrong stall. Let me pull forward. There we go. Back. And now I'll go right in here. And stop and tap for park i think so i'm in park okay let's take a look at the final numbers let me take my other phone out here okay trip a 302 miles we used 120 kilowatt hour we finished up with 398 watt hour per mile so we're right at 2.51 i think miles per kilowatt hour two and a half miles per kilowatt hour you can see up here zero miles 0% state of charge. So, uh, yeah, pretty good showing. We didn't hit the 318 miles of the EPA. Or, it's actually not EPA yet. It's Tesla's estimated range. Uh, but I didn't expect to do that, and I never do that with Teslas. I've, I've range tested so many Teslas. I usually finish between 10 and 13% uh, less than the combined EPA range rating. Typically with other makes of EVs, we do a little bit better. Um, but this one here, we fell 18 miles short. So uh, I think that's maybe about 6% uh, less uh, than, the, than the EPA combined range rating. A great, that's a huge win for the Cybertruck. As far as I'm concerned, 302 miles at 70 miles an hour in a truck, a 6,600 pound truck to me is uh, is really good. Uh, they, they did a good job here with it and they got that out of 120 kilowatt hour. Both the Lightning and the Rivian have much bigger battery packs. Uh, and uh, quite honestly, I haven't been able to drive 300 miles with either one of those vehicles on a 70 mile an hour highway range test. The Rivian gets close in good temperatures, but um, my Lightning's usually around 270, 275. And that has 131 kilowatt hour usable uh, one, I think 46, uh, total capacity compared to the, the 123 for the Cybertruck. So it's got a much bigger battery pack and it only weighs about 200 pounds more the, the Lightning. I think it weighs 6,800 pounds. This weighs about 6,600 pounds. Performance wise, they're dead heat. Um, I think it was Motor Trend who recently did, uh, their Cybertruck dual motor 
quarter mile and zero to 60 times, and they were exactly identical to the F-150 Lightning with the extended range battery pack. Both the zero to 60 time and the quarter mile were identical. So um, performance is pretty much the same as a Lightning. Now, if you get the Cyber Beast, that's a different story. That's going to be, you know, you know, the fastest truck out there. But um, listen, that's it for the Inside EV 70 mile an hour higher range test for the dual motor Foundation Series Cybertruck. Um, if you like what we're doing here at Inside EVs, please click that subscribe button here and follow us on all your social media channels so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.